In early March this year, Big Mama decided to make a nest and hatch out eight gorgeous little goslings. The chicks were born about 32 days later. And Big Mama and Jacqueline stayed with them together for the first three weeks. And then Big Mama decided to leave them solely in Jacqueline's care because he is such a good father and because she had lost a significant amount of weight and she was just ready to get back to living life. So he has them full time right now. He is kicked out in the afternoon so that he doesn't eat all of their supplemental grain but I take them three to four loads of grass every day um, at this size and then as they get bigger they get more obviously and then when they are halfway grown and fully feathered out no. they will actually start grazing full-time with the adult geese but be locked up at night and i do that because draglin here likes to jump into the creek off of a cliff and then he flies back up and when that happens i don't get my goslings back they get stuck in the creek they get lost they get eaten or i am out at night waiting around in the creek trying to catch goslings which does not work all right so i'm finished doing what i have to do in the garden as far as weeding and fertilizing and stuff so i'm going to show you what i've picked from the garden none of this has had any kind of pesticide or chemicals on it um, we've got some lettuce that's in the process of going to seed so instead of pulling that out we're saving seed from it and as it grows up I'm picking off these lettuce leaves they seem to really like this smart leaf here the smart weed and they love any type of clover I've got yellow clover I've got charred and beet green because we just got too many of it right now um here's a pea a bean leaf it looks like i accidentally pulled up and then there's some dock and all in there and then i'm gonna go grab some uh sour grass also called quack grass and i'm gonna also grab some just regular grass to add into here one thing I've learned over the years is that if you want to know what your animals will eat, what you need to forage for them, watch where they eat and what they eat. Right up here is one of my, this whole yard actually is one of my geese's favorite spots to eat. So let's go see what Captain and Nancy and Mohawk have the girls lunching on okay well we've got nice tender grass but that's not what they're really after they're after these little wild strawberry things and you see where they've been chewing upon the smart weed and they're also after these berries so this is the kind of stuff we want to pick for them I'm going to get down and pick this kind of stuff. And it's tedious, but you know what? That's what it takes sometimes. You can see I'm just feeding them the regular sweet feed mix from the farm store. If I was not feeding them the grass daily in significant quantities along with the sweet feed, then I would put them on flock starter. But since they are getting plenty of grass and weeds and there are bugs and slugs and stuff in there um which geese really don't eat a lot of they're more vegetarians than anything this this will suffice to help them to grow quickly 
It's really important to note to never feed them chick starter, especially take... medicated chick starter. What do you think, Draggy? You're almost grown? You done good? You did good? Kind fibers. Craft no harm. You don't craft arm, do you, Iris? Huh? Do you? You don't? No, you don't. You good boy. <laughs>